in AV 2018, the world's largest expo for broadcast media content. The show where the latest creative developments are on display. Hi, I'm Kaylee Hewlett from In Broadcast here at NAB 2018, and I'm joined here by Scott and Daryl from Box TV. Welcome, guys, to NAB 2018. Thank you. Now, I'm very interested to discover what is the inspiration behind Box TV and how did you come about? Okay, well, uh, should I let you feel this one? <laughs> sure. Um, my background is a DP in engineering, and so uh, about 10 years ago, uh, well, actually, 2008 was our first NAB, 10 years ago, so a few years before that, I was frustrated with the limitations on what was on the, what's out in the market. So with the, my DP and, and engineering experience, um, I came up with some ideas and then luckily met up with Daryl who is a lawyer and commercial director and he put my kind of ridiculous um, ideas and fantasies into some kind of commercial um, reasoning and possibilities to actually make a business out of it. And so the team kind of came together and we actually came up and got a product, product to market 10 years ago, um, which was the, the first zero delay um, product which the industry really took on board for, for feature films and for live to air television. Um, stadiums and all the kind of stuff where, where latency is incredibly important when it comes to wireless technologies. Yeah, I guess well, I only add to that that we were, um, I, you, you know, we, we brought affordability to this market. I mean, um, prior to, to us coming into the market, re really you only had the high end Coftum guys and, and links that were sort of like nuts, you know, like 50 grand um, upwards. And we were able to provide sort of affordability to that to allow other people who erstwhile wouldn't have been able to adopt wireless to adopt wireless. And I guess that was that was the beginning of a, of a trend. And we were, we were really pleased to be able to you know, be the first to do that. <laughs> Sorry, I was just going to add that it was at the time when the, 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 the industry was changing from, from 35 mil film into into the digital realm and the directors want to upgrade from the standard composite SD video taps into something much better and, and our product came along just at the right time for that for that industry change. And talk to me about the products that you're showcasing here at NAB. Well our newest product is is the um, is the Atom and we have a few different versions of that now we um, have a, uh, a few different uh, ways of receiving those the, the product. This is the transmitter. Um, so we have a new few different receivers, smaller tr receivers, uh, more affordable for receivers to work with this with this smaller miniaturised product. This is the product we came out with 10 years ago. Um, it, <laughs> in today's world, it actually looks like a monster. It looks clunky and big, but but back then that was that was the the, the first thing on the market that really took the industry by storm. You know, we've sold well over a thousand of these things, and um, they're actually still being used. And and I do engineering myself still. And if I'm on a an X Factor or a Britain's Got Talent or a show like that, this is the type of thing we 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 can still use this, and it works perfectly well. This is the miniaturised version. So on cameras and jobs where where weight and size is important, then then this is this is the one to go for. But this this is still a still a product out there that's used today. Yeah. Wow, it's very impressive when you see it like that because you see how far we've come and how things have changed. Now, in terms of the marketplace, where are you situated and what makes you different? Okay, I think what we, makes us different is the engineering factor, is that we sell products, but we also engineer. We also engineer very difficult jobs as well, things like um, aerobatic aircraft, um, getting live pictures off those, um, getting pictures off a platform four kilometres out to sea for, for a surfing competition. People come to us with difficult multi-camera jobs where they want to use eight of these in the one area. Um, that's what we can engineer and send out engineers uh, or even just give advice to, to, to our customers, which we find doesn't exist in, in a lot of the other other manufacturers. Yeah, is, is the and also probably my, my background in in in, in engineering and, and as a DP, um, being able to get these things out and making sure they do the job they have to do. Anything you'd like to add as well, Daryl? Um, well, I mean, I, I guess uh, yeah. The, it's got, Scott's point's right there that we've got um, well, you know the, the more challenging the shoot, uh, the more inclined people are to come to us, uh, just because. You know, we're not just a product, we're able to provide a service to be able to make sure that, that whatever happens, we can get that signal to go from there to there. And, and that's, the, you know, that's our real story. So, Daryl, tell me, what does the next 10 years look like for Box TV? Yeah, I mean, good question. Um, I, I see that we're going to move much more down a path of uh, distribution channels that are not just you know, off-the-shelf distribution guys, really technical distribution guys, guys that can not only sell a product but support a product and get out there and help on sets around the world to be able to make that work. And I guess 
the, the real point when you move this from a product to a service is that you want the best uh, product for the job, basically, and we find that that works very well with sometimes, you know, if you're doing a Formula One, you want to, you want the very high-end stuff for being able to get around the racetrack, the stuff, the Coftum stuff that can go a mile. Um, but then when you're doing player interviews, you, you or, or driver interviews rather, um, you, uh, you, you, you use our stuff, and our stuff doesn't affect their stuff, and their stuff doesn't affect our stuff, and that's why we, we, we're a great fit for, uh, for a lot of those high-end boys. And finally, where can people go to find out some more information? Yeah, well, obviously on the web, we've got a website, www.boxbox.tv, uh, and there, there's further contact details there. But uh, we've got um, uh, North American dealers. We've, uh, we've got a North American office now, and uh, we're in the, based in the UK. So uh, we, we've pretty much got every area covered. So, I mean, it, one or the other office is as uh, is, is good as the other. <laughs> Lots of expansion, very exciting stuff. Thank you both so very much. Thank you very much. This is Kaylee Hewlett here at NAB 2018.